Well, good afternoon, Kettlebrook family. Uh, Ryan and Troy here for kind of a weekly update with you. Uh, some of you are know, knowing that we, as we settle into kind of um, quarantine here, uh, things are getting a little crazy with the home haircuts. Right. So, beauty, beauty salons are shut down. Yeah, and so this is what you get. <laughs> no, um, in all seriousness, uh, we've got a lot of things that we want to just run past you and, and make sure that you're aware of in the coming week. Yeah, so this Sunday, uh, Kim Mundinger and I are going to be sharing about Jeremiah 29 and kind of how well they were actually in exile. Uh, maybe that's how we feel like that in different ways and, and having us process that uh, together. So that'll be this Sunday. Yeah, and the next week is uh, pretty much the most significant week in the calendar for us as followers of Jesus. It's what's called Holy Week. Mm -hmm. And so we have a few extra things going on for you. Uh, first, on Thursday, we're gonna offer an online virtual gathering for those of you who are maybe not gathering together for what's called a Seder meal. Mm -hmm. I'll be walking through that with you uh, and with a special guest who will be accompanying me uh, to help lead you through a traditional Seder meal, Last Supper kind of meal. Um, so wanna, we're gonna give you what you need to do that yourself in this email uh, via an attachment. It's all laid out for you, but if you need someone to walk you through it, I'll do that via video. Friday, uh, Friday for Good Friday, we're gonna have Steve Farina, our pastor of Care and Connections, and David Zizdek, our youth pastor, uh, do it, lead a virtual gathering for us as well to celebrate Good Friday, mm -hmm. the day that Jesus died. And uh, then we'll be back together next Sunday uh, to lead you in a virtual gathering for Easter Sunday or Resurrection Sunday. Yeah, yeah, so we're excited about those opportunities to, to worship God uh, during that week. Yeah. Uh, another thing we're excited about is there's a whole bunch of churches, at least 20 local churches in the Milwaukee area are trying to have our people pray throughout the whole month of April. It's yeah. really, really cool. And so there's going to be a link giving more information about that, but would encourage you either as an individual or as a family or maybe as a small group or a missional community or Maybe if you're solo, you could link up virtually with someone and do that or over the phone. But you'll have a, we'll have a link to sign up for that in this email. Yeah. And lastly, just a couple of needs. Uh, we're trying to get as many needs put together as we can for the current situation. And a, a couple needs are, we talked to Diane Scheibe, who's one of our Kettlebrook family, and she's very involved in the Full Shelf Food Pantry here in West Bend. And what she needs is drivers. Drivers, mm -hmm. to, to the, you don't even have to go into the pantry. They'll be bringing food out, putting it in your trunk. You'll be dropping boxes off uh, for people who aren't able to come out and get uh, the food right now where it's, they're vulnerable and need that food. So if you have the capacity to be a driver and drop things off, we need drivers for that at this time. And then lastly, we talked about this last couple of weeks, but the mask thing, um, personal protection equipment, uh, there is a need locally for about 9,000 masks, and mm -hmm. we are working with uh, some local folks who are putting those together, and the elders we met this morning and talked about it. Uh, because there's a need for 9,000 local masks, uh, the elders have decided that they would like to take uh, and, and fund up to $4,000 to, to help make the materials happen mm -hmm. so that um, we can get those masks made. But we need about 100 people to put those things together, and that includes not just people who can sew, but people who can cut, um, and we can put these kits together, be dropped off at your house to have those things cut, uh, be dropped off at other houses that it can be sewn. So what we need you to do is if you're interested in either of those serving opportunities, uh, either driving for the food pantry or sewing or cutting for these, uh, these uh, personal protection equipment, we just need you to email info at kettlebrook.org and we'll do the best that we can to try to put you uh, where you need to be and get you connected up. Uh, Kettlebrook family, it's a great opportunity to serve in this time in this way. I think one other opportunity that may come along too, and we'll tell you if it does, but um, at the uh, senior meal program in Jackson at the community center, I think there's going to be some need there too. We'll update you if there is. Yeah. And if you're leading neighborhoods where you've got those letters out, uh, some of those needs are also needs you could be posting relative to sewing, cutting, and, and getting people in your neighborhoods involved as well. So yeah. please uh, feel free to reach out info at kettlebrook.org to do so. God bless family. We'll see you soon.